Hey guys, as an entrepreneur, I am obsessed, truly, borderline addiction, on improving my process every single day and being a little more efficient and a little more productive. I've been in this for a little while, so I'm gonna go over five ways, five ways, to become more productive as an entrepreneur. Let's dive in. First and foremost, now I gotta come and come clean to all you guys. I've had my fair share of dating app stories to say the least. And I realized that in a one year period, I spent literally hundreds of hours on these apps and also meeting people. And a year later, if you had to guess out of all of them, how many I still speak with? Zero. So number one is delete all dating apps. I know it might be fun going out for drinks, going out with someone you just met, but the fact of the matter is me, I'm building something here that's gonna last far greater than any three month, six month, one year relationship is going to exist. So my first encouragement is delete all of them, not deactivate them. See, I played the game of deactivating them, coming back to them. Deactivation, activation, delete them permanently, I promise you, you will thank yourself later. Number two, another way to be pro productive is to only go out one time per week, which is difficult because I want to go with my friends all the time and go hang out and do all these sorts of fun things. But the fact of the matter is if you want to build something, it's going to take more than just eight hours a day and having Saturday and Sunday off. This is called the building phase for a reason. Right now I'm in the building phase, so are you as well. So go out one time a week, go out and have fun, Make it something special though, because I've realized, most people are around me now, going out is a normal thing. It's not even enjoyable. It's not as enjoyable as it was previously. But if you only have it every once in a while, like once a week, it'll be so much more special and more enjoyable. Go out once per week, you'll save money, save time, and you'll be more productive. And number three, 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 three. I use this 90-10 rule. 90% on something I'm going to do, 10% on something that I wanna do. So. 90% social media is a big, big, big part of my life. That's how I engage with my audience, how I engage with people, how I build business, whatever it is. Social media is a big thing. I've done 90% creation, 10% consumption. If you stick to those 90-10 rules, I'd say I probably spend, let's say, three hours a day on social media. Three hours per day is 180 minutes. 10% of that is 20 minutes, about 20 minutes or so. Three hours of creation for social media and blog, 20, per, uh, 20 minutes of consumption. I feel as though I'm very, very confident that 90-10 for social media specifically is a very, very good number to stick with. And the second one is 90%, oh, not 90%, 90, if you break the day up into sections, it makes things so much easier, I've realized. I used to do the five hours in a row, just keep on going marathon, and... I burn out and it becomes really unenjoyable and unbearable. So 90, 10, 90 minutes on, literally set a timer, put your phone on, phone on, phone on airplane mode, set a timer, 90 minutes when it goes off, stop working. I literally walk over to my couch, close my eyes for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, there's something about closing eyes, relaxation and quiet, a quietness that really gets me excited to go work again. Because it's something I really enjoy. The fact of the matter is, even if you 100% enjoy everything you do every second, it will become tiresome no matter what. So you gotta take breaks. 90, 10, remember those. Number four, already talked about it. 90 minutes on working to melt your face off. 10 minutes lying down, resting your eyes and your brain, everything. Five, eliminate music, be in silence, or play ambient music. Because when I play reggaeton or hip hop or anything, I want to sing along and rap along to it. And that really can take my train, derail it completely away from what I want to work on. So ambient music, I actually have some ambient music that is super, super awesome. It actually is in different keys. It sounds really nice. Or silence. There's something really, really freeing about breathing and being in silence. 
and working in a place of silence. If you don't have silence, I completely understand. Not everybody has the blessing of having a really quiet space like me. But ambient music has no lyrics and does not make you want to dance around. That's the music I'd encourage. Illuminate the lyrical music that's going to make you want to sing and dance around. Those are my five ways to be super productive as an entrepreneur. But what else is there? I know there's a ton more. I could just think of five for the day. What do you guys do? Do you guys play music and dance around to it? Does it make you work better? For me... I need silence or ambient music to really concentrate. What other things are, are there to become more productive as an entrepreneur? Comment, subscribe, like. I want to hear what you guys have to do to be productive because maybe I will start implementing it today. Have a great rest of the day, guys. And be productive.